Hey friends, my name is Steve Guttenberg and I am an audiophile. You know, a lot of people who are audiophiles uh, don't want to fess up that they're audiophiles. I, I think that's very strange, but it's true. But then there's this whole thing about the measure of an audiophile has to do with the size of their system. I don't believe that at all. That is just crazy. A guy with a $500 system that he cobbled together is just as much as of an audiophile as someone with a $10,000 audio system. This, the, the price and expense and the size of the system doesn't make you more or less of an audiophile. It's not part of it at all. But of course, the, the secondary thing is, is that a lot of people who are audiophiles by some measure deny that they're audiophiles. I mean, it's one of the first things I ever wrote was based on an experience I had at a party where I went up to people who were audiophiles, because a lot of audiophiles at this party, and I asked each one, you an audiophile? And the typical answer was, no, no, I like music, but I'm not an audiophile. And one of the guys had a $50,000 turntable. And I said, you know, it's funny, I don't think you really need a $50,000 turntable to listen to a record. You could buy a close and play or, you know, techniques turntable and play records. But you have this super duper turntable uh, for some reason. I'm not really sure. I'll play music. That's cool. But anyway, the, uh, everybody. I would say three out of four of the audiophiles I asked at that party 20-something years ago, are you an audiophile? Three out of four said no. They like music. They weren't audiophiles. So there's like a, a, a negative connotation among audiophiles to deny the fact that they're audiophiles. So it's, it's kind of nutty, really, you know. But it just, I, I, feel, I feel sad when, when someone comes up to me and they say, I'm not really an ornithologist because I just have this little system and it's not that good. And uh, you know, I like music. Uh, well, you, you self-proclaim your audiophileness, or you deny it, one or the other. But anybody can say they're an audiophile. There's no, there's no real test. Um, my test that I apply to people who, who claim to be audiophiles is: first, can you listen to music uh, without multitasking? That's one of my uh, credits. And then the secondary one is, do you care about the sound of your system in, in some ways that you're trying to make it better? I think those two qualifiers uh, make you an audiophile by the Steve Guttenberg standard. But that's just, that's just me. I, I'm not king. You know, it doesn't matter what I really think. If someone says they're an audiophile, they're an audiophile. If someone says they're not an audiophile, okay, you're not an audiophile. Whatever you have or don't have, I mean... There's a lot more people who like music than like audio equipment, no doubt about it. So uh, the ratio of actual uh, music lovers or music listeners to actual audiophiles, by some standard, is crazy. I mean, there's way more music lovers than, than audiophiles. We're a tiny, tiny little community, and part of having the Audiophiliac Daily Show is to be sort of a hub for some of those people to come to a place, a virtual place to come to where... Uh, we audiophiles can converse with each other, at least through the comments. I'm doing the conversing, you're doing the, the comments. So uh, that's pretty much it, but uh, we got to stick together. We got we to gotta rise up or something. Anyway, audiophiles, uh, men and women of the uh, world and universe, uh, say you're a proud of audiophile, whatever. And that's it. My name is Steve Gutberg, and I am an audiophile. And I will see you again soon. Thanks.